And with this ongoing manhunt, communities here in Orlando are on edge, especially this weekend with several Martin Luther King Jr. parades. One in particular was this morning in downtown Orlando. As News 6's Sachelle Saunders shows us, today's parade took on a different tone. This is the 33rd year the city of Orlando has celebrated the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with a parade. But this year, because of the events of the past week, it takes on special meaning. Orlando Police Department kicked off the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. parade as they do each year, but this time a more solemn float wasn't far behind with the faces of fallen officers, Deputy Norman Lewis and Sergeant Deborah Clayton. She certainly stood up for the ideals of Dr. Martin Luther King. She interacted with youth and I just hear more and more stories about how she impacted the lives of the children here. Clayton's loss felt especially by her sorority who says she usually participated in the parade to to say, you know, Deborah, we, we're proud of what you did. And we stand with you in making a change in Orlando. Still, in the spirit of Dr. King's celebrations pressed forward. Oh, okay, Orlando. Children expressing thanks that previous generations united for the future. Back in the days there was segregation now, like if we all put together, we make it like a beautiful team. And that history is made by standing for something. They know that they have a place and they're not afraid to take their place to stand up and say, I, I matter, my life matters. And not only does my, my life matter, my sisters and brothers lives matter. And to stay focused on the positive, former city commissioner Mabel Butler helped make the parade a city project 31 years ago. She wants the day to showcase unity, not division. We're just going to have to learn to get along with each other. Say I'm sorry. Say I love you because there is no tomorrow. It promised to us. Reporting in Orlando, Sashel Saunders, News 6.